What is up, my friends? So, the big news, the big rumor is that Ben Affleck will be coming back as Batman. So, all you Pattinson fans out there, don't worry. Apparently, the rumor is he will be coming back as Batman in a series on HBO Max. Holy shit, does that sound amazing, right? And it kind of sounds like, even myself now hearing that, it doesn't sound like it's likely to happen. But, my friends, many people said the Snyder Cut was unlikely to happen. So... Here we are now. So according to a rumor that's been circulating is that HBO Max, Zack Snyder, Ben Affleck are all in talks to bring Ben Affleck's script to an HBO Max limited series of sorts that would follow right after the first Justice League movie, which will be Zack Snyder's cut. And they're saying that he they're going to bring Ben Affleck's original script for that. So we would be seeing Deathstroke return as well with Zack Snyder being an executive producer and it'd be a limited run series, maybe a four part episode or five part, I don't know. I don't think that they would do like season one, season two of it. I think that'd be too much. I'm not sure if Ben Affleck would even commit to something like that. So I think a limited series is pretty good to hear they could do something like that and bring Deathstroke finally to the big screen of sorts, the big streaming screen. I don't know. I, th I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, they could do like a Fathom event, like I always say, of the whole series if people really want to go see it in theaters, but I don't know if they would do a whole like release of the film and everything because it would clash with Pattinson. I think that's the one that Warner Brothers is really going forth right now with. So... That's just my opinion on that. But what do you think about Ben Affleck bringing a limited series of Batman onto HBO Max? I think HBO Max is definitely uh, playing around with what they're doing. They are probably like tentatively working on a lot of things behind the scenes because there's no way at t would just be teasing fans like they are on Twitter about all of this. And I think HBO Max knows that they're going to launch big and they want to keep those same subscribers that are going to be subscribed once they uh, launch tomorrow still engaged for the future. And what better way than introducing huge projects like this one? I mean, the Snyder Cut definitely is one of those. And then there's a possibility of a David Ayer cut looming somewhere. So at and is really... Um, HBO Max, Warner Brothers, all of them, I think they know what they're doing and they're testing the waters. And I think that the reception that they probably are going to get pretty soon from the Snyder Cut uh, trailer will let them know, should we move on ahead with this Batman project or not? I think David Ayer's cut of Suicide Squad is like 90% for sure going to happen. But I think they're waiting for the reception of Snyder's Justice League like trailer and how many people start to subscribe because of that. You know, a lot of like SEO they got to look into. So it's going to be interesting to see what that will all mean for the future because they already have a Green Lantern show they're lined up. So I'm sure HBO would like if they're going to go like take a risk with Green Lantern, not that Green Lantern isn't a big hero, but a hero compared to like Batman or Superman, I'm going with Batman and Superman as somebody who would be known all across the globe like just by showing a picture and I think that they would definitely be in the like mood to get a Batman show on there especially a four or five part series that's pretty dark and grimy with this Batman and going up against Deathstroke and whatever else needs to be happening here I would definitely like get on that i'm already subscribed to hbo max and this is just making me more excited to see what exactly hbo max is planning on having so that's the uh rumor and apparently they say no official announcement will be coming until the end of the year so that makes sense because i think that they're going to be testing the waters throughout the year with what happens with the snyder cut I'm telling you, Comic-Con this year is definitely going to be huge in streaming and all of that because of everything that's been going on. They're going to be premiering like stuff for Disney Plus as well for Marvel. And it should be interesting as well what happens with the Fox side of things as well. Um, like where would we even get a Josh Trank, uh, fantastic, for, fortastic, whatever you want to call it, uh, director's cut of that. I've heard some rumors about that. I'll probably talk about that in another video, but... It's it's interesting that they would want to bring this back, and I think it's just after the hype they saw from it, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things going around that studio and everybody involved in all of this about it all, so I don't know. Do you think that they would be um, 
smart to do this? Would you watch a Batman uh, series and then have Robert Pattinson's Batman on the big screen as well? Would that be confusing? Because I don't think it would because we had Gotham and then we had Batman and it was just like people knew there was different universes and all of that and we never expected anything to happen like that. So what would be interesting as well is that you would create another universe in that sense, actually, if you're going to continue Zack Snyder's uh, DCU because there, you have the Joker universe already that we've described. And I don't know if they want to continue like making Elseworld stories after this. And Joker maybe was just a one-off and that was just the only one they were going to do. And now they're going back to trying to launch a universe and all of this because... If they do do that, I, that, that would be a pretty interesting take that Warner Brothers is taking, I feel, of having a lot of these Elseworlds stories with different actors. And it's sort of like Marvel's What If, except Marvel didn't take that much of a risk with doing um, live actors and live stunts and all of this. It's going to be animated, so it's really not as costly on their side to do that, where as opposed to... The DCU with Warner Bros. and all of that, you have the Joker universe, which they've already said numerous times is not connected to anything, but we'll wait and see on that one, right? Then we're going to have the Robert Pattinson universe over here, and then we would have Zack Snyder's vision over here on this side. So it's like three universes going like in their own direction, and I just for the longest thought they were just going to continue like Wonder Woman and The Flash with Ezra Miller. Um, and everybody else involved, uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman and Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, and then recast everybody else in the Justice League, but by Zack Snyder's um, last viewing of Man of Steel, the rumors started to circulate that we were going to get Henry Cavill back into the DCU in a possible Man of Steel 2, and that just made me think, are they really going to recast Ben Affleck then? Or could they actually go ahead and keep him with, I mean, as long as he wants to, because there's a lot of bad press surrounding him, and it just felt like he wasn't really into the role at the time due to everything going on in his life, that he would want to come back would be something that we would have to wait and see him say anything about that. But just by him on social media, he seems hyped about the Snyder Cut. So could we actually have a U two universes then? where we have the uh, Robert Pattinson in a Batman cinematic universe with the Joker and Joaquin Phoenix the Joker. So yeah, I'm getting a little crazy right there, right? And then we still have the DCU that we know with everybody involved in Justice League and just continuing on and pretending that the old Josh Whedon Justice League didn't happen. That would be interesting to how they would be able to handle all of that because not everybody's going to have HBO Max. And I don't know if people would want to watch the same movie over like many people would want to, you know. it just be interesting how that would even happen. But I'm, I'm up for it. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. As I said, these are rumors. I think once we get closer to Comic-Con, we're definitely going to be getting a lot more talk about where they're going to go. And I think that this year specifically is a big year for many of these companies to very much so get people back on track and say... We're going like to do this now. We're going to hit all of this, especially now that many people haven't had that much time to really think about all of these things. I think that it would come at a great time to sort of lift those spirits up and get people excited. But let me know your thoughts about all of that below. Are you all up for a Batman series with Ben Affleck returning as the Batman, Joe Manigliano returning as Deathstroke, Zack Snyder executive producing that? And would you love to see, like, Justice League 2, Man of Steel 2, and everybody just back together from Justice League, sort of being driven back by Zack Snyder? Let me know your thoughts about that below, or are you all done with it, and you don't care if there's a Batman series, you don't care if Henry Cavill comes back as Superman as well? I'd like to know all of your opinions below. It's definitely going to be interesting times. These are very huge rumors, and I would love to believe it because I would love to see it. But I'm very doubtful that they would even go ahead and give the green light to something like this, especially if they're going to be promoting Batman on the big screen. I don't know if they would want to go back and forth and do both of them. But as I said, they did that with Gotham. But then again, Gotham really wasn't a Batman show. That was a Detective Gordon show. 
So let me know your thoughts below on all of this. Are you up for the Batman TV series or do you think it would be kind of weird if they did that? Anyways, as always, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. And as always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, on Anchor. All will be down below in the description. And I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive. Hey, if you're still here, still listening, appreciate you making it to the end. While you're here, why don't you go ahead and check out these other videos I have for you right here. Click on them, go check them out, and I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for? Let's get to it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, and make sure you give this video a like.